Hey, if you want to find out a wonderful recipe, a fabulous way to make a duck that looks just like this, man, I tell you what, it doesn't matter what the occasion, you pull this out and you're going to impress people. That's all there is to it. This beautiful duck with an orange glaze on it and the oranges inside, the oranges around it. This celebrates both the bird and the orange in a beautiful and harmonious way. Please give this a shot. You're going to love this recipe. Well, hello. Welcome back to Texas Cooking Today. On this episode of Texas Cooking Today, we're making duck. Duck with an orange sauce. Very simple. The French call this duck à l'orange. I tell you what, yummy, it's delicious, something that you should try. Now, even if you're not interested in doing a duck with an orange sauce, watch this show because it's going to give you just the basic lowdown on a great way to roast a duck, okay? So I tell you what, come over this way. Let's go over all these wonderful little goodies that we're going to be working with and let's get busy making some duck with orange sauce. Now, if you're going to make duck with orange sauce, the first thing that you're going to have to have, of course, is going to be a duck. Now, we have a beautiful duck here, and we're going to get this all cooked up. And as we're working on this, you're going to learn a few things that are make duck a little bit different than chicken, and uh, some of the things that are different in the flavor as well as the texture of the meat. Also, for this dish, because this is going to be a duck with an orange sauce, I have some little oranges out here. These are some mandarins. You can use whatever kind of orange you want, but I thought these would be nice because of their flavor and their size would all work in well with this. Also, I'm going to be using some shallots with this. Back here I have a half of a gallon of orange juice. You can use any kind of orange juice you want for this. Try to use just natural orange juice. Don't get anything that's artificial. Um, this is important because we're going to be cooking this juice down to a very small amount and it's going to be a syrup at that point. So I'm going to be reducing that juice all the way down to almost nothing and we're going to make this most magnificent orange sauce with it. Uh, so let's get on with making this beautiful duck with orange sauce. Oh and for goodness sakes, don't forget to get yourself something to enjoy while you're making your food. Now what I have here are some items that I'm going to be using to stuff this duck with and I actually probably have just a little bit more here than I need so I might likely won't be using all of it. Uh, so what I want to do is just pull out a couple of items right off. Now we're going to take these mandarins and I'm going to just slice these in half. That beautiful orange. These are little darlings. <laughs> I love these little oranges. And their flavor is so sweet. It's just unbelievable. It lends well to something like this. Now on these shallots, all I'm going to do, and I don't have to do a lot of preparation on these, but I do need to do a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut the ends off of these. And if you would like on your shallots to get them to release just a little better, you can either split them in half or just score them well, and that way they will release their juices and uh, they will end up being just a little bit better. And also, if you decide you want, you can even take those shallots and just split them right open. And that doesn't hurt either. And so I just take this guy and do something like that and put it right up inside of it. Let's get over here with our bird. I'm going to take my bird. I've opened his carcass. I've cleaned him out, dried him off. Let's just start tossing some goodies right up inside of him there. Doesn't that look like fun? Now, does stuffing a bird like this increase the cooking time? Oh, heck yes it does. Now, while I had before an open cavity that he could flow into and cook this bird faster, this is now going to slow the cooking process down a little bit. It will also allow for a little more darkening of the skin because of that. Now, a couple of things I want to do to my bird to get him from just looking kind of flopped open and limp like he is right now. We want to take him and tie him up. So, what we're going to do here, and this is perfectly legal, this is, is known as birdie bondage, and uh, we're going to take our bird and get him tied up really nice. Put those legs together. And if you notice, I pulled that tail right up under the legs there. Pulled it right in between them. 
did that quite on purpose. You want that. It's going to keep that pouch that has all of the uh, um, oranges and the shallots all nice and tucked in there. Now, the upper skin here on the neck, I have already gone ahead and shoved that in there. Usually there's a lot of skin hanging out, you know, because ducks have a long neck. So don't worry about that. Just go ahead and shove the skin right up inside there. And on these wings, I want to keep the wings underneath the bird so that they're not flopped out there and getting so dried out. There's not much meat on this, but what little meat there is is quite delicious and something that I don't want anyone to miss out on. So what I'm going to do is just take my string and put it around the little chicken wing, like so. Excuse me, the duck wing. Listen to me. I think I'm losing it. You see how I've got those? I'll just pull them back. And it doesn't have to be pulled back tight, just so they're tucked in behind him. Go ahead and tie a good knot on this so it doesn't come undone. And cut off the excess. Now, I have a bird that is fully ready to go ahead and roast. He's been tied up. The tips on these wings don't matter, but if you want to tuck them behind, that's fine. Otherwise, just leave them sitting out. They'll get a nice dark brown, and I think it enhances the overall appearance of the bird. One last thing I want to do before I go ahead and put this bird into the oven, and that is I want to score through some of this skin and into that fat just a little bit. And I don't want to score too deep. You see how I have not cut into the meat there? And just a little bit shallower than that. And what this scoring does is it allows some of that fat that is underneath this skin to render out onto the skin. It further enhances the browning as well as uh, the, the uh, appearance, you know, on the skin when it comes to uh, having it look nice and shiny, giving a good appearance. So if you'll notice what I'm doing, I'm cutting this in both directions. Now this is a simple thing. If you want to salt and pepper this, that's fine. I'm not going to pepper. I'm just going to add some salt over the top of this. And let me explain. You can be somewhat liberal when you're doing this, okay? Not a problem. In the bottom of the pan, I'm going to be placing some water in there. And I'm going to want enough so that this bird can cook through the entire time without that water drying out. I have a wide bottom pan here, and this is on high heat. And take one of your oranges, and a box grater works fine, or an orange zester, or you can just even use a knife and scrape it off. But I can zest in as much of this as I wish. And it just makes this orange sauce taste a little bit more orangey. Now, have your burner on this on high heat, and uh, you'll want to go at least a medium high to high heat throughout its uh, simmer process. Something else, if you wish to add to this, is some uh, orange liqueur. I'm going to be pouring in here right about, I think I had a, about a half to three quarters of a cup left in that. I can easily go up to a couple of cups with that much orange juice. And uh, that just adds a little extra sweet quality to it. Bumps up the sugar level a little bit and makes for a very interesting tasting product. It's going to be coming up to a boil in just a little bit and as soon as this starts simmering real good, and I'm going to give it about 10 minutes head start, I will then go ahead at that point and put my bird in the oven. Now the oven is preheating 350 degrees. Okay, we now have our juice that is up to a high simmer and if you notice we got a lot of steam coming off of that and that's the whole idea. The more it steams the faster it reduces and turns into that lovely uh, syrup that we're looking for, our orange syrup. Let's go ahead and get our duck in the oven. The oven is now preheated. It's at 350 degrees. And I'll set that in there and we'll just let it cook until I get a good center meat reading on that at 175 degrees. Now in case you're wondering about how much time that it usually is going to take on a duck like that, you're going to be looking at about 30 minutes per pound. And of course, like I said, that also depends on whether it's stuffed or not and what it's stuffed with and you know how tightly it is stuffed and all kinds of stuff like that. There's many variables. Uh, so that could be you know just a little on the, on the long side, it could be a little bit on the short side, but on average about 30 minutes 
to the pound. Please check the meat and temperature before you slice into it and start eating, uh, especially if you have wild game. That's really important, okay? Now, though this is still putting off some steam, you'll notice it's putting off a lot less. And down here we have more of a rolling billowy effect. This rolling billowy effect means that we've reduced this just down to pretty much sugars. And that's where I want it. So I'm going to turn the heat off underneath that. And when I look at how that coats that spoon, look at this. And look how thick it is and how slowly it drips off of it. The beautiful orange color of it. It really doesn't get much better than this. And if you're ready to taste this, and I suggest doing it, right now this is the time to do that. Let it cool a little bit on that spoon. Mmm. Oh, man. That is like super orange deluxe sauce. Excellent. All I have to do, keep this covered, set it aside. My orange sauce is ready. And that's only a couple of cups of orange sauce there, but still that's going to be more than enough. I just pulled my duck out of the oven, and it is coming up to temperature just fine. It right now is at about 160 degrees, and it's not going to take it much longer. I estimate about another 10 minutes in there. But what I want to do is to get this beautiful glaze going on on top of the outside of this. This is my orange glaze. Now, this bird goes back into the oven. It's going to be turned up at 375. So go ahead and do that and then get yourself a nice little caramelization on the outside of that glaze. This is out of the oven. I've just te checked the temperature. I've inserted a temperature probe here and one up here and got c constant readings on both locations right at about 175 degrees. In fact, 176 point whatever over here. But uh, it was just fine. I got this beautiful charring on the wings that was from the sugar that I put on those that was that orange glaze. And the orange glaze has set across the rest of the meat. And it's looking beautiful and shiny and absolutely delicious. Now, it is time for us to transfer this. It's only been a couple of minutes now. Uh, use a couple of tongs. Very there we go. Lift it helpful. gently. There we go. Beautiful transfer. Nothing is injured or changed. That's exactly what we're looking for. We now have our bird on our plate and it is time to bring to it its garnish. And of course we're celebrating that beautiful orange. Look at that. And these simple little oranges that I've chosen here, these, these little mandarins, are perfect for this. Now if you wish to keep the ends because of their bright color, go ahead. I'm going to set them aside. I want just that center portion for doing decorating. Just gently lift. There we go. Now if you notice I've left the legs tied. Everything is intact. That way, if I'm going to serve it and make it look beautiful, then heck, there we have it. Now that. That's worth showing up with at any party, any fine occasion. Anybody that's not impressed with something like that, well, you need to tell them just to go to back to Sri Lanka, okay? This is fabulous. Well, there you go. As you see, this is a magnificent looking dish, and it just didn't take a whole lot of work, did it? No. So, something easy to impress with, something out of the ordinary, something special for that special occasion. Check this out. Thinking, I'm going to take just a touch of that orange sauce and lightly place it right over the top of that meat. Because I truly believe this is a dish that needs there we go. This is a dish. See how thick the ice that really needs the flavor of that orange. Skin is crispy. Mmm. That's what you heard me slicing through. Mmm. This is delicious. I can taste, I can taste the flavor of 
those shallots and the flavor and the orange that has seeped up through the meat. And I'm talking in, in addition to the flavor of what I just put on it. The orange just smacks you in the face and it's really good. So you have the savory and sweet just meeting side by side. An absolutely wonderful combination. A bird that will be the envy of anybody. It's a dish that you should serve at your next special occasion. Now I'd like to thank you very much for watching Texas Cooking today, for watching this episode, and for my subscribers, an extra special thank you for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I have some wonderful recipes over here. Well, you folks have a good day. Thank you for watching Texas Cooking Today, the show where you can get great recipes and the best techniques are taught. Please subscribe to Texas Cooking Today, where you will always find something hot and ready to eat.